Sacred tree of life. <laughs> On the very last day, the flower blooms. Welcome back. When I see Saz with his son Daj, I'm reminded of my own father. Though, he wasn't anything like Saz at all. He was a hard, strict man, or so I always thought. Even if we cannot truly see them, I know that souls must exist in some form. How else can we explain what happened back on the wrecked ship between Saz and his son? God is not omniscient. He cannot see into the hearts of people. To him, emotions are a mystery. Only humans can truly know their secrets. Of course, there are many times when humans misread each other too, like me and my father. For the longest time, we didn't understand each other.
some traveler. Do you have any potions with you? They're mighty useful when you're in a pinch. You can never have enough. Hey there! in order to survive. Frankly, that's my only job. Thank you so much. All right, little dog. It's time to drink your medicine. This will fix you up. Gosh, will you look at that? This stuff works fast. Claudia will be so pleased. Claudia? Who's that? Who's that? Why, Dr. Gazal's assistant, of course. You met her earlier. Oh, wait. You know her as 13, is that right? Ugh, that Dr. Gazal. I don't know why he can't be bothered to learn people's names. Claudia is a wonderful assistant. Well, quite good anyway, and she deserves more respect. And when she's not sure about something, she always checks with the other assistant. Well, anyway, the dog is safe and sound. If you happen to run into Claudia again, let her know for me, would you? Sure. Oh, and here. I've got some leftover medicine. You can have it. Maybe it'll come in handy. Oh, looks like you have a cute little admirer. I think she senses you saved her life. She's not scared of people. Maybe she was a pet. Yes, that could very well be the case. Usually the ones that live in the wild aren't so friendly. If she does belong to someone, then... What is it? I just remembered a woman that I met out on the trail near Canopus Farms. She was upset and told me that she had lost her dog. Have you stopped by... Excuse me. Wait, don't tell me. You want me to make more medicine for... You're going to have...
Yes? Remember telling me about your family? I do, but I don't have family anymore. Like I told you, my darling Clove just ran away. What? Clove? Clove, is that really you? It is! Where have you been? I thought you were dead! I'm so glad you're back safe and sound! I am never ever letting you out of my sight again! There is always one. Spectacular. I've got some good news from Tilda. That dog she found is doing much better. He is? Well, that's great. The medicine you prescribed was exactly what he needed. You're a fine vet, Claudia. You... you know my name? And you remembered it? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Anyway, I appreciate the praise. But I don't know anywhere near as much as Seven does, and practically the only thing Dr. Gazal says to me is, Hey, Thirteen. Hmm, I wonder why he still won't call you by your proper names. Oh, he says it's because he can't be troubled to learn them. But really, I think it's because he doesn't want to get too close to us. He's cared for a lot of people and animals over the years, and most of them have gone one way or another. He must be so tired of losing people he's grown fond of. Yeah, it's hard to say goodbye to people you love. To keep everyone at a distance is one way to protect yourself. That said, in my case, I think it really is because he can't remember my name. I'm still so hopeless at everything, and I've still got so much to learn. A number is all I deserve. No, that's not true. Hey, Thirteen, get over here. <sighs> See what I mean? Are you deaf? Come over here, Claudia. I need your advice. What? Go on. C coming
Are you the Cole who... Hmm? Who... Who told you? From Sarala, Kenobi. She told me that her father, Cole, left the village to... And so you thought I was this fertilizer seeker? You still haven't answered me. Mm, sure enough. But why should I give you something for... You're not gonna answer me. Not until you do... The fact is, I am looking for fertilizer. Which... No, nah, no, nah, it's... I've marked the locations with a shovel. All you... I've done what you asked. Of course. I'm a man of my word. You said you are looking for Sarala's father, a man called... Now listen carefully. The coal you seek, well, the fact is he's, uh... He's already dead. He is? Yep, that's right. I was the one who found him. He was attacked by monsters. I ran to help, but by the time I reached him, it was too late. I was standing here, pondering how I was gonna break the news to Sarala. I feared if I told you what happened, you'd run straight off and tell Sarala. She has to be told sometime. Of course not. I know I can't put it off forever. She needs to be told the truth. Plain and simple, with no sugarcoating. I think. For the best, huh? When you say it would be for the best, do you mean it would be the best? What do you mean? Why, Sarala, of course. She's a strong girl. If you ask me, she'll do far better without her old man to burden her. Yep, she'll be able to move on, stand on her own feet, and live her own life. All right. Well, in that case, let me tell her. You'd really do that? Maybe a stranger is exactly who she... Mm, you might be right. That fertilizer you collected, it, it was Cole who found it. So, why don't you take it to Sarala? You spoke to him? Yep, just before he died in my arms. The last thing he said was, dig next to the flower. You tell her that. In the it's a hard story to swallow, but at the very least, he really cares about Sarala and what happens to her. I'll go back to Canopus Farms and tell Sarala the news. Sarala. Oh, hello! Is that fertilizer from the woods? Thanks. Does that mean you met father? I've got some bad news. Oh, no! Please, not that. He left a message. His last words before he died were, dig next to the flower. The, the flower? A box? My dearest daughter, if this letter has found its way into your hands, it breaks my heart. But you shall not be seeing me again. I pray that you'll forgive me, but I could not bring myself to say these words to you in person. Now, I want you to know this. The vegetables that we grow in that field are the finest in all of the wildlands. Everyone who tastes them agrees. Do you know why, my daughter? Because you, you are the one who tends them. It's all thanks to you. Once I am dead, the farm passes to you. It's yours to do as you please. I ask only one thing of you. You know the flower that I looked after? 
The one that never blooms? Please, promise me you'll look after it. Keep it safe. This is my last request to you. There will be no more after this. Farewell, my dearest daughter. <laughs> oh, Dad! Are you all right? Yes. Thank you for everything, for telling me the truth. Father stayed here on the farm, not because he liked it, but because he didn't want to leave me alone. He always wanted to leave, to leave this place and go on a journey. A journey? Yes, to find my mother. She disappeared a long time ago, but he believed she was alive, and he thought I held him back. You shouldn't think like that. But it's true. Look what he wrote in the letter. It's all about that stupid flower that never even blew. He practically comes out and says he doesn't care what happens to me as long as his precious flower is safe. What flower? Oh, who cares? He was obsessed with it, you know? Always fussing over it, even though it never bloomed once. What? It is. It really is. I found it. Unbelievable! Who are you? Why, who cares who I am? Behold, the Serala Rosa, genus Muncius, the flower of legend, said to bloom once every 500 years. What? Serala? Yes, yes. Serala Rosa Muncius. In the ancient tongue, it means for the love of my daughter. The legend says that any place that it blooms will be blessed with great fortune and prosperity forever. I must leave you now, and write my paper before my rivals beat me to it. Cornelia is my name, and plant biology is my game. Goodbye and good luck. Sarala. Hmm. He must have named you after the flower. For good luck, and prosperity. Yes. Oh, Dad. Thank you.